Hello and welcome to, I suppose this video would be part of Vlogmas day two. Um, I've just like kind of recording this after recording a little bit for yesterday's which you would have already seen. So um, yeah, <laughs> today I have some orders to package up. I've picked them and everything. Um, I just need to package them up and then pop them to the post box. I'm not going to the post box. I'm actually sending uh, Simon and James to the post box because I need to get some voiceovers done for some YouTube videos. And it's very difficult to do that when obviously you have a child here that is screaming his head off and wants to be a part of everything that you're doing. <laughs> so I need to get these orders packaged up and then I can do a little bit of that voice recording and then I can edit this evening um, some of the videos so I want to get two voiceovers done um, <clears throat> I think I said I can't remember what I've just said literally like about half an hour while I recorded some kind of footage for um, yesterday's vlogmas day one um, I think I mentioned that I'm potentially not necessarily doing vlog or studio vlogs every day um, I want to still have my usual Friday videos um, and have that as like part of Vlogmas. Obviously there won't be like title as Vlogmas but it was, I'm still trying to aim for like a video every day. So I'm going to try and voice over a couple of Friday videos in advance, like two weeks worth, so this Friday and next Friday, so it takes a little bit of pressure off getting something out every single day. A majority of the the videos will actually be vlogs and you know that kind of thing um, but I also want to include um, some maybe business tips or something like that so if you have anything that you want business tips on like as a priority or anything that you want me to talk about regarding art like some art advice videos pop a comment in the description um, and then I can get on making those I just sneezed my life off <laughs> Um, then I can kind of get ahead on a couple of days and then the studio vlog things for like the vlogmas days will be maybe a little bit longer because then I can include a couple of days content and that kind of thing. So let me know uh, what you would like art advice or like business advice, like practical advice on and I'll, um, I'll make sure that I try and get some of that recorded for you. Also whilst we're here i'm just going to drop a quick promo for patreon and my website um if you want to learn how to draw tutorials and that kind of stuff i've literally posted a schedule um on my puffin group and to patreon about what's going to be available this december um i've added in the option of having like um a business podcast slash like a video about business um, so that's going to be something new that is coming to patreon and to the website it's going to be a whole separate section on the website but I spent a long time last night uh, making this schedule I'll show it to you now so there's a quick glimpse at the schedule um, <clears throat> I used to do a schedule like th around this time last year then I stopped doing it for this year because I wanted to kind of cut down on the amount um, that I was pressuring myself to do but I realized throughout this year a schedule is a really good idea so um, that's December's schedule there are there's a critique and Q&A session um, there's two fur tutorials there's a leopard tutorial a more a McCaw tutorial um, two live draw along sessions a business podcast and then there's a physical reward tier that's going out at the end of December as well there may be some other like fur tutorials sprinkled in there depending on how much I actually get done during the month of December but that's the core content that will be available for December and everything that is on my YouTube channel is like short form videos is all on my Patreon or my website so as it's the beginning of the month now is like the perfect time to sign up so you won't get charged like twice a lot of people sign up at the end of the month and then they end up getting charged when they sign up and then it's the start of the month like the next day and then they get charged again and they're like why um so if you want to learn how to draw or use colored pencils now is the best time to sign up um also you will be supporting me directly which is fantastic because you know self-employed small business um trying to make a living here 
Uh, we did reach the goals on Patreon. Um, I set a two, $2,000 reward. Um, and we did reach it. But because it's the end of the month slash beginning of the month. A lot of people unsubscribe. They don't want to continue or they don't have the funds to continue or something like that. Then a lot of people opt out. So we've now gone down past that reward again um, but I did set another goal which I would really really love to achieve um, I want to try and achieve it by summer next year and that is I want to be able to go and find my own studio and have my own studio space that is the absolute dream for next year um, because I am running out of room here for like physical products uh, I love this studio though but it is there's now two of us working in here and I want to be able to move to somewhere where I can ship physical products a lot easier and faster, um, have a lot more space for it, and also I just want to be able to have to go somewhere to do some work, like record tutorials and stuff. Um, yeah, and separate that kind of home business aspect of things. So that's the dream for next year, and I would love to be able to reach it, and I would absolutely love your help in being able to do that so let's try and make that goal possible i know it's a shameless self promo but you gotta do it <laughs> to make a living so let's get some packaging done and then i will record a little bit of the voiceover action it's not that interesting it's literally just me voicing over and editing a video together um but yeah let's get on with some work <laughs> then you can work in a slightly different direction or different way. Okay, so it's currently 3 p.m. I have scheduled uh, two videos for this week so far. So I've got the uh, video which is coming out um, on the first today which you guys would have already seen hopefully and then I've also just edited uh, Friday's video which is going to be a macaw beak tutorial um, I've edited that together and uploaded it to YouTube so that's all ready to go that'll be live on Friday and yeah I have also voiced over next week's Friday uh, tutorial video as well so this evening and what I'm going to do is just edit that together, get that uploaded, so then at least that's then one of the videos for next week. Um, I'm also going to edit this vlog this evening so it's ready for tomorrow 
Um, tomorrow is a full day and I'm thinking of splitting it into two sections because I want to get quite a bit done tomorrow. Like I need to spend a little bit of time later on today just making a, um, a list of everything that I need to do. And I also want to come up with a list of ideas that I want to include in this vlogmas thing um, and just create like a schedule so I know exactly what I'm doing and exactly when it needs to be up what i need to spend time editing and that kind of stuff so yeah that's that i've had a tokyo treat box arrive but i love tokyo treat boxes but a little bit of a, a personal information like i know i talk about a lot of business stuff and there's a little bit of personal things but yeah those of you you might be aware if you've watched my studio vlogs since like last year that i have been on a little bit of like a fitness journey slash discovery and i'm getting on really well with like working out i work out pretty much five days a week um and yeah i've been working out really hard and i hit like a plateau with losing weight and things and I've just kind of reevaluated things and I've switched my diet. So um, I've been a vegetarian for quite a while. Um, and I decided that I was going to try the... We watched um, The Game Changers and Cowspiracy and stuff on Netflix. And it's really made us think about our impact and everything. And we thought that we would like to try a vegan diet. So for the past two and a bit weeks now, I've been pretty much fully vegan apart from like at the very beginning like the very first couple of days there was we were just finishing off milk and stuff and adding that to the tea and coffee um but pretty much since then been vegan and i've managed to lose um another half a stone <laughs> which i'm really really pleased about so um i've also like added in everything to my fitness pal and made sure that i like measure everything so that i'm eating exactly right and i came to the conclusion that i was pretty much overeating um but now we'll have the right amount of eating and everything um this doesn't have anything to do with art or business but just thought i'd share for extra content for vlogmas um but the tokyo treat box i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to eat very much in it because i'm not sure whether a lot of it is vegan friendly or not so i think i've got one more box to arrive for tokyo treat but I'm thinking that I might just like, you know, try and give away some of the uh, treats to friends and family whenever I can see them, whenever that may be. Uh, so yeah, that's disappointing that I can't like indulge in some of those, but I'm enjoying my new diet and I'm not feeling tired in the afternoons anymore, which is fantastic because usually around now I'd get like a serious energy dip and it would really affect me and I'd just have to like close my eyes and then I'd end up napping or you know just being kind of grouchy so yeah really pleased about all of that um I've just had a little snack of some apples and almond butter and as I said this evening I'm just going to carry on working I'm going to go and treat myself to a bath and a hair wash and everything now um yeah so i'm gonna sign off for today if there's anything of note that i want to include i'll include it after this but if not i'll see you guys tomorrow on vlogmas day three bye